Hey my tribe, welcome back once again to our channel. Thank you so much for joining me again for the second part of this reading, which is really, really, really powerful. I am really starting to see um, the meat of why I was called to do this and particularly my past life as a teacher in um, the Egyptian mystery schools. It's really coming through the universe through this channel and I haven't even been doing this for a month yet so man thank you so much for hanging in this long and I, I can't even imagine where we're all going to be five years from now so wow all right let's get started because <laughs> this is deep <laughs> Daumatef earth spirit as a jackal headed deity of the north Daumatef is one of the four disciples or sons of Horus and he guards the stomach organs of the deceased and canopic jars he is also seen standing in a lotus flower to indicate his ability to transform organic matter into light. Under the protection of Neith, the ancient mother goddess, he can also work alchemically with the living during the process of initiation to release old toxins. So it took me a little bit to process that because... What is alchemy, right? Alchemy is transmutation of energy, the basis of all magic, taking lead, turning it into gold, manipulating things to your will, right? Um, <laughs> let's just keep reading. Channeled message from Dalmatef. You see me as guarding the remains of the dead, but I am here to say that I work with the principle of transmutation transforming organic substances into vital energy call on me and anubis pause the first card that i pulled from this deck the first reading that i posted from this deck was the anubis card so i posted that in the link because i feel like that reading and this reading go together so if you want to check that one out after this or save it to watch later i definitely recommend that because i feel like there's a part of that reading that's a part of this reading also, um, and that really is coming straight from my ancestor that, or not, excuse me, ancestor. Maybe it was an ancestor because as some of us know that ancestors in past lives, you know, we can be our own ancestors, but they can kind of <laughs> correlate or, or even merge together. It's hard to explain, but energetically, yes. Anyway, let me stay a little bit more on this planet. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I get, I get off on tangents. <laughs> Call on me in Anubis when you have problems with digestion, being ungrounded, or have a lack of abundance. Card meanings, abundance. If you can let go of outworn ideas and methods of doing things, abundance can be yours in time. How you spend your time is also something I really want you guys to be conscious and cognizant of because your friends, your family, this entire society, I mean, even I, I hate to say it, but at times our own body really because, you know, our food is kept from us. <laughs> Most of us are disconnected from it. Most of us don't have access to feed ourselves without this society. So please, if you have spare time, if you're flicking the channels and can't find anything to watch on TV, or, you know, you are sick of listening to the same songs in the morning, you know, on your, your ride to work or whatever, make some time to connect with, um, your spirituality because we love to think, and now my right ear is ringing. <laughs> We love to think um, that if we don't spend all of our time grinding, then we're not going to have what we need, right? God feeds the birds. God, feed, God will feed you too. You know, God feeds the birds. God will feed you too. Let me say that smoothly. <laughs> love, focus on releasing what is not needed in your life to improve a current relationship or begin a successful new one. Work career, a time of slow progress work-wise. So best to stay and improve your current position for now. Travel, travel by land and take your time. Be prepared for some minor delays if flying. Health, stomach problems may be resolved by releasing physical toxins and emotional stress. Because a lot of our, and of course I'm not a doctor, I'm not any kind of professional in that capacity, but the spiritual belief is that a lot of our um, physical symptoms are representative of emotional issues that we're having or even past life you know, things that came with us. So quantum healing hypnosis is something that was um, very helpful for me to connect to those sorts of issues and, and um, begin to resolve them. 
Family, allow time to offer support to those close to you. Future, you may feel as if your future is not very bright at present, but it's just a time of integration of energies for you. The future alchemist needs rest too, right? <laughs> rest your body. Your mind and your spirit can't proceed if your body is exhausted. And that's a part of the process, I believe, here of colonialization is to keep us so tired that we can't connect to these things. Because once we start connecting to this, we start questioning that. And that's their biggest fear, right? The wokeness. I mean, we're not going to get political, but I'll just say they'd rather you stay asleep. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me.